Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. In this special edition, we're looking back at 2022, a record-breaking year for many in Europe that experts say is a sign of what's to come. For me, the summer of 2022 was emblematic of the consequences of human-induced climate change getting worse. So, let's begin with a look at the latest data for December 2022 from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Europe was 0.9 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average last month. That figure hides a big difference between the north and south of the continent. Here you can see in blue that the British Isles and Scandinavia had cold conditions. Reykjavik in Iceland hit its lowest temperature since 1918. And then around the Mediterranean, temperatures were well above average last month. And for many Europeans, the warm December was the conclusion of an exceptionally warm year. Every one of the countries shaded in red on this map had its warmest year on record in 2022, stretching from the British Isles to the Iberian Peninsula and the Balkans. Last year was exceptional, but it won't stay that way. The unusually high temperatures of the summer will be considered average just a few decades from now. Here's climatologist Valerie Masson-Delmont. The average conditions of summer 2022 will become the standard around 2050-2060. What you have to understand is that a year like 2022 is exceptional, but that this type of event will be more frequent, more intense. And I'll let you just imagine what the records will be in 2050-2060 compared to an average like the summer of 2022. Last summer's heat waves had a devastating impact on the natural environment. But what's less well known is the impact they had on human health. It's now been calculated that there were over 20,000 excess deaths last summer in Europe as a result of the unusually high temperatures. Not just in Spain and France, where we've seen this happen before, but also in the UK, a country that hit a new all-time high last summer. Some parts of Britain reached over 40 degrees Celsius in July, a new record that led the country's weather service to issue an unprecedented red extreme heat warning, saying that illness and death may occur even among the fit and healthy. Experts argue we need a change in attitude to heat. Particularly in more northern parts of Europe, the UK, um, Denmark and Germany, northern Germany, uh, we still see when there's heat, that's a great thing. We can go out and enjoy ourselves and have fun. And we need to be a bit more aware that you can, can enjoy the heat, but there are longer-term implications. Most of the deaths are among the elderly or very young. However, data from Europe and North America shows that women are actually 15% more at risk from heat than men, and scientists aren't sure why. Two lead theories are that females have a higher core temperature, so need to cool down further and also that females may sweat less than males, and that, again, would prevent them from being able to cool down. From summer heat to the cryosphere, our planet's icy areas. They are at the front line of climate change, and in 2022, both the Arctic and Antarctic saw below average sea ice extent throughout the year. On the summit of Greenland, it rained rather than snowed for the second year in a row. And the Swiss Alps lost 6% of their total remaining ice volume, witnessed by glaciologist Matthias Hus. 2022 was really special in the Alpine region because we had a combination of very little snow during wintertime and then very high temperatures during summertime, so continuous heat waves. And this combination is the worst thing that can happen to glaciers. And this resulted in absolute record ice losses that we have never seen before. This is all happening, of course, because greenhouse gas concentrations in our atmosphere from human activity continue to rise. You can read more about it on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.